Hey guys, what's going on? The HTC 10 is possibly the best smartphone in the market right now, packed in great specs for a great price. So let's see what the HTC 10 scores out of 10. So guys, getting this out of the way, we'll be judging the phone on five different categories. The build, display, performance and battery, camera, and extra features. So getting started with the build, the HTC 10 looks gorgeous in the hand. It's built like a beast with its all-metal unibody and shiny colors. Looking at pictures, the thick chamfered edges may look ugly and unuseful, however, after handling the phone, it gave it a curved feeling which fitted the needs of my hand perfectly. The buttons are really clicky and are a pleasure to press. Along with that, the power button is also carved so you can tell the difference with it and the volume rockers. The phone can be slippery at some times and to avoid that, I added the newly released flick wraps case, which not only makes the phone look dope, but also give it a tad bit more grip and protection. I have to say the HTC 10 is one of the best feeling phones so far in 2016, and for all that, I give it a 1.9 out of 2. For the display, HTC went with a 5.2 inch screen, which is great for one handed use. Along with that, the display is also covered with Gorilla Glass 3 to reduce drops and scratches. It's sharp, great for playing games and watching movies. It is an LCD and to be more specific, it's Super LCD 5. Due to it being an LCD, you won't get deep blacks, however the colors seem fairly good for daily use. One really cool thing you can do with this display is change its variant. If you head over to settings, then display, and then color profiles, you can change the phone into two different modes, vivid and standard RGB. Along with that, you can also tweak the settings to match your needs. I keep the phone in vivid as it's similar to AMOLED screen and makes the screen a bit more sharp. One thing I have to say is the screen is not that bright compared to other high-end phones, however, it's usable. I give the HTC 10 a 1.7 in the display area simply due to its complexness. Performance is a key element that makes or breaks the phone, and I'm proud to say the HTC 10 does not lack here. Getting the specs out of the way, the HTC 10 has a Snapdragon 820, an Adreno 530, Android 6.0.1, and 4GB of RAM. The phone handles day-to-day -day usage like a beast. All folders and app open really quickly without any hesitation. Playing games and watching movies at a high resolution did make the phone a bit warm, however it was nothing to worry. The phone being warm also didn't affect the performance at all. Multitasking and RAM management is also decent. The 10 also came with a 3000 mAh battery which was great as it lasted me a full day with a couple percent left after heavy usage. I got around 4-5 to five hours of on screen time which was exceptional for me. It doesn't have a removable battery so you really can't do anything. What it does have is Quick Charge 3.0 and when I say quick I mean super quick like over 80% in just 30 minutes. Now that is amazing. Now in this category, I give the HTC 10 a 1.8 because of the non-removable battery and how it warms up. The camera on this phone is good and bad. It's good because it's better than any other HTC device, and it's bad because it can't get compared to other cameras like on the S7. However, that being said, HTC did release a camera update which got it closer to the big guns. The rear facing camera has 12 megapixels and an aperture of f1.8. Along with that, it also has optical image stabilization, laser autofocus, and a dual tone flash built in. On the other side, the front facing camera has 5 megapixels and an aperture of f1.8. Along with that, it's one of the first phones that has OIS built into the front camera. The 10 can also shoot 4K. The camera app is well organized. Sliding left, you have a ton of modes to choose from. One of my favorite modes is Pro Mode. This mode makes the camera fully manual, which is great for shooting video. You can do things like changing the focus, shutter speed, ISO, aperture, and white balance. You can also choose other modes like time lapse, hyperlapse, slow motion, etc. Overall, I give the camera a 1.7 with all the things that it has. In the last category of extra features, we're going to talk about the fingerprint sensor, micro SD card slot, HTC's skin of Android, and boom sound. The fingerprint sensor on this phone is extremely fast. It was easy to set up and works almost every time. You can also expand storage on this phone up to two terabytes. Sense is HTC's skin of Android. It looks really similar to stock Android and will also get updates extremely quick. HTC has always been known for their speaker setup, which they call boom sound. It's still there, however, is a bit changed. There are two speakers on this phone, a tweeter on the top for high frequencies and a subwoofer on the bottom for lower frequencies. It's obviously not better than front facing speaker, however, it was an interesting change. The sound quality is great, even if your hand covers the bottom speakers. This phone can also make your average headphones great. It has a 24-bit DAC on the top for enhanced audio quality. You can also have a set profile to choose from. For all these extra features, I give the HTC 10 a 1.8. After adding all the points together, the HTC 10 scored an 8.9, which is really, really good. 
I love the HTC 10 just because of how good of a phone it is overall. I would definitely recommend this phone if you like Android, want a flagship, and have a budget of around $6 to $650. So that's been it guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more similar content like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.